So Mavia finally put out some more details on their governance model. Now, if you don't know me already, I'm Najif Place. I make a lot of content on Alluvium. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I'm actually on the council for the Alluvium DAO and I help develop proposals, submit them through and really help bridge the community to the Alluvium team through governance. So this may not seem like the most exciting thing to you, but I really like it. So anyways, back to Mavia. They just announced their DAO governance system. And I'm going to go through that real quick with eyes from somebody who's already involved in a Web3 gaming DAO. So to start, the Heroes of Mavia community is self-governed through the Mavia DAO. A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. So it starts out with some core values. So innovation, they're constantly seeking fresh ideas. They want open communication and transparency. A unity, they want to work together for common goals. So working together, that's not only the team, but that is the community with the team. And agility, they want to adapt quickly to change staying responsive to new opportunities and challenges. This is great when it comes to a DAO. I will say that being able to adapt and make changes quickly is much easier said than done. With a governance model, you need to have, you know, different parties weighing in on it, a vote implementation process. It's definitely not that quick, but I will say it's so much better than your traditional gaming where the community really doesn't have any say at all. So even if a new proposal gets put through for Mavia and it takes four to six months to be implemented, it's still better than being in a system that doesn't give you any say at all. So this proposal process, you have to be a member of the DAO to make a proposal. And that means you only need to hold one Mavia token in a wallet. One Mavia token right now is around $6. So you're going to need to get one of those to your wallet if you want to be able to make proposals and vote on them. The proposals are called MIPs, which are Mavia improvement proposals. Mavia's official discord is used for the proposal creation and discussion while Snapshot is used for voting. And this is similar to how Alluvium does it. You're going to make a thread in the Discord. You're going to have the community and team members weighing in on it. So it's going to go under the informal comment gathering for a period of seven days. And this is when the original poster or the author of it is going to get some feedback. And they can use this feedback to make adjustments to the proposal to help it give the best chance of passing before it gets put up for a vote. So in this review process, they want you to recognize that many proposals seem ambitious and promising. Each MIP requires careful consideration of various factors such as marketing, legalities, financial aspects, and technical requirements to guarantee feasibility. Now, even what they said is a complete understatement. I'll tell you from Alluvium, there are a ton of great ideas that come out of the community. And if the majority of these ideas got implemented, I think it would make the game so much better. But in reality, it doesn't mean that those changes are possible. And I'm not saying from a technical standpoint, I'm saying from, from a team standpoint. Maybe the team doesn't have enough funds to do it, doesn't have enough team members to put it through. Maybe the scope of this idea is years and years away. So I know a lot of people are going to think of fantastic ideas that's going to help make Mavia a better one, but it's more important that you come up with quicker, smaller ideas that can more easily be implemented because those are the ones that are going to be implemented first. So once one of these MIPs passes the feedback stage, it can be put up for a vote. So the first Friday of every month is when any MIP that is already to this stage will get put up for a vote and the vote will last 14 days. They're using a protocol called Snapshot. It's the same thing that I've been using for a while with Alluvium. It works very easily, seamlessly, no gas fees, so you don't need to worry about that. They're saying that one Mavia token equals one vote. Now, I do see a problem with this that I believe Alluvium has solved, and maybe I can be the one to propose this and see if we can get it up for a vote as an MIP. And that is that the tokens are not weighted. So in Alluvium, I don't know the exact numbers, but if you have one ILV, it equals one voting power. If you have a thousand ILV, it doesn't mean a thousand voting power. It's weighted so that the more you have, you get slightly less voting power. And back over to Mavia, the team themselves, or you know, maybe the CEO or people who have been in the community just stacking all of this Mavia, if they have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Mavia, they can easily swing any vote in their direction. And the people voting with one Mavia are going to make basically no difference at all. So I'd like to see that weighted a little differently so that your wallet that has 10,000 Mavia 
doesn't get 10,000 the voting power as somebody with one Mavia. So as this whole process is going, updates regarding the process and implementation of the proposals will be provided in Discord in the governance channel. So there are four types of proposals that you can put through. There's gameplay improvements, proposals adding new game features, modifying fundamental functionality and other game related matters. There's the ecosystem allocation, proposals for how the ecosystem fund should be allocated and utilized, brand decisions, proposals for initiatives, projects or partnerships affiliated with the DAO or Mavia IP and process changes, proposals for modifying a procedure or executing a change in implementation. So if I were to write up a proposal for changing the weight of Mavia voting, it would go under a process change. So voting, again, this is gonna be done on snapshot, very easy. If you're unsure how this works, leave me a comment down below and I can make a video on it. But speaking of that, there is actually already a proposal out there and I will go over to snapshot in a minute and show you how that looks. So so the voting process, MIPs are posted the first Friday of each month, 14 day voting window. Proposals that receive a majority in favor vote are moved into implementation. So that sounds like as long as it's over 50% of the votes are in favor, it will be implemented. So general guidelines, the Mavia DAO is a flexible organization, allowing for the additional and replacement of members, administrators, and council members as needed. Regular votes are held throughout the year to elect board members responsible for managing DAO proposals and aligning with the community's vision. Now I need to look more into this. In Alluvium, it's a council vote. There's different epochs you run for, like you're running for a position and then you can get voted on by the community to become a council member. I'd like to see what that looks like in Mavia. I already have the experience in Alluvium and I'd love to get onto a council that helps manage these proposals for Mavia. Proposals that directly conflict with existing ones are subject to a three month waiting period after the initial proposals in implementation. So say someone writes up a proposal, it ends up passing through the vote and gets implemented and you don't like this proposal, it could take three months for that to be implemented. And then you'd have to wait another three months before you could submit an idea to change that. And that makes sense. You don't want new ideas to be implemented and then immediately have to change that implementation you at least have the three month window to see if it's gonna work. All right, and just to finish it off, I will go over here. So this is Snapshot. This is the first MIP that was proposed. It's MIP 100, integration of NFT verification and display mechanisms within Heroes of Mavia chat interface. Now I'm not gonna go through this right now. I encourage you to go look at it yourself. You can vote for it. You can see right now there's 96.3% upvoted. But here's what I'm talking about with the Mavia tokens. So you have two people right here, one person with 17,000 Mavia and one person with 15,000 Mavia. So right now there's 481 votes. And after you go past those first two people, the third biggest Mavia bag is 2.1 thousand Mavia. I'd be willing to bet if the vote ended right now, all you would have needed is two people to vote for it. So that's why I'd like to see it a little more weighted. So this top person isn't getting 17,000 times the voting power of the small guy out there. And I think Web3 Gaming is about the small guy. We want them to have a say as well. But that's it. I'm actually pretty excited about this DAO governance system in Mavia. Let me know your thoughts on this system down below. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you're playing the game and you want to enter in a creator code, use mine. I'd greatly appreciate that. It's just Najafe how it's spelled here. N-I-J-A-F-E. And that's it for this video. I will catch you in the next one.